This video is going to teach you how to play Nomad, an expansion for the deck building board game Moonrakers. Nomad adds global events, overhauls the contract system, and adds new prototype ship parts to the game. A quick note before we get started, this video will only cover how to play the expansion, so if you don't know how to play Moonrakers, head on over to the video linked in the description. To begin, start by setting up the base game of Moonrakers as you would normally, but with the following exceptions. Return the dispatch board to the box and replace it with a new navigation board. Then shuffle the event deck and place it to the left of the board. Gather all contracts from the base game and any other expansions you might be playing with and separate them into four separate decks based on their primary color. Shuffle and place each deck next to the slot that matches its color on the navigation board. Next, place all ship tokens matching the player's colors on the stay at base section of the navigation board. Then, place the Sorelia Sector card on the Anomaly Detected side in the top right of the navigation board. After that, shuffle and place the 10 Sorelia prototype ship parts within reach of all players, separate from the rest of the ship parts. Then, shuffle all Nomad objectives in the objective pile. And lastly, place the new Prestige board on the table and set all players' ship tokens on the zero space of the Prestige track. Now, you're ready to go. There are two main ways that Nomad changes Moonrakers. The first are the new event cards that happen between turns. Second is it restructures how contracts are chosen. We'll talk about events first. At the beginning of every mission leader's turn, they reveal a card from the event deck. The revealed card will either be an event or a policy. Events are fairly straightforward, but we'll go over one example. In Touring Merchant, a player may optionally roll a die. If they roll a blank, they gain two credits. If they roll a one, there's no result. And if they roll two, they lose one credit. The hazard dice does not reduce prestige during event cards. Policies are essentially modifications to the rules that the players may vote on. When a policy card is revealed, the mission leader should read it aloud to the group. Then, all players must simultaneously vote thumbs up or thumbs down. We recommend counting down from three. If there is a majority count of thumbs up, the policy passes and it's added to the active policy section of the navigation board. If the majority of thumbs are down, the policy is discarded. On a tie, the mission leader decides the outcome. If a policy is successfully passed, it stays into effect until a new one is voted in. The navigation board is made up of five sectors and the Moonraker's base of operations. Each faction has its own sector, labeled by its color and faction name. To reveal contracts, you must travel to a new sector as the mission leader. To do this, choose an adjacent sector to your current location and move your ship token there. Then draw three contracts from the corresponding deck and place them in the slots below the board. Choose one to attempt and invite allies to join you. However, you may only invite allies who are in an adjacent sector. If they choose to join you, they must move their ship token to the sector that you are in. A few caveats to moving around the navigation board. First, as mission leader, you cannot stay in your current sector. You must move to a new one on your turn, as you are constantly on the run from the Utopian Alliance. Second, the mission leader may only move once per turn. They may, however, decide to stay at base once they reveal three contracts. Third, an adjacent sector is one that is orthogonal from your current location but note that the Moonraker's base and Sorelia are adjacent to all sectors and each other. Sorelia is a hidden fifth sector. To unlock it, the players must complete a special contract. To attempt the contract, a mission leader must move their token to the sector and attempt the contract. They can solo it or they can invite allies to join them. If players successfully complete the contract, flip the contract card over to reveal and unlock the Sorelia sector. The Sorelia sector has its own contracts that can be attempted, like the other four sectors. If the contract is failed, it remains and may be attempted again on future turns. Many Sorelia contracts have a new reward type, which gives players one of the new Sorelia prototype ship parts. These act similarly to bonus cards, but instead of taking a crew or a ship part, you'll draw the top card of the Sorelia prototype deck and install it on your ship. These cards have unique abilities and also give you the option to add any action card to your discard pile. One last additional rule change from the base game. Players may now freely discard a crew or ship part from the armory at the beginning of their buy phase. After their free discard, they may spend one credit to discard a second card, but not a third. 
Before I let you go, I wanted to point out one last thing. If you just can't get enough of Moonrakers and you'd like to play a slightly longer game, you can flip over the prestige board to find a new track that goes to 15 instead of the original 10. And that about covers it. We hope you enjoyed learning how to play Nomad. If we missed anything, if you need clarification, or just want to talk about board games, hit us up on Discord and ask us there. Thanks for watching.